Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello. Welcome to the video for what is the string string to color node. Let me run our example. I'm going to hit play. And we're going to get some transparent white text and it's going to say true. We are using a string to determine our color and that color is then being applied to our text. Let me also go ahead and plug this in now and next to hit play and you'll see this is the string that I'm using. G equals 1, B equals 1, R equals 1, A equals 0 0.56. So let's look at the node itself. It's a simple node. It takes in a string. If the string is properly formatted, it returns back a boolean with true or false, true being properly formatted, and the color that was created from the string. Now the string, the string's formatting is really simple. It is basically an array in string format. So it's a parenthesis, some values, and then a closing parenthesis. Each value is separated by a comma. That's why if we look at it like this, you can see our first value, our second value, our third, and our fourth. If you've noticed though, it doesn't have to be in our proper order. It doesn't have to be RGBA. It just simply needs to have a red, a green, a blue, and optionally an alpha value. Well, what do I mean by optional? Let's get rid of the alpha value. Let's go ahead and just simply do GBR1. Actually, you know what? Let's make the R0. Let's give ourselves just G and B. We'll hit play. You'll see the string we're using here, no alpha value. If alpha is omitted, it can, it's going to assume one, which means we have a one for alpha or full draw. And we're getting a light, a light blue because we have a G and a B with one. And you see true here, which is our string being validated as valid. That's it. It's a really simple node. If you are curious about how this is supposed to be formatted, we can do the opposite node. So this node takes a color and outputs a string. We hit play and you can see right here, this is what it's expecting. Two parentheses surrounding R, G, B, A values. It's outputting what it has now. You'll notice we don't have the periods. We don't have the full precision of the floating points. As long as we have the values is all it cares about. And again, the A is optional. Let me show you what happens if we were to omit, for example, our B. We're just going to go with G equals 1, R equals 0, and hit play. You'll notice we actually have G equals 1, R equals 0, and it's green. But we get back a false. You'll find it will pass through most of the time the color that we give it based on the values. And it's going to assume whatever's not there is 0 for the color and 1 for the alpha. But it will give you back a false as a valid because it is expecting an R, a G, and a B. And you notice it can sometimes run into issues. For example, we can try this. You'll see it's R equals 1. But maybe we want to do, for example, B equals 1. And we only have a B. Oops. We'll go and run this. You'll notice it's not black. It's not blue like we expect. Even though it does work from time to time, go based on the output if it's true or false. If it's not getting the valid R, G, and B like it's expecting, so in this case we could do B, R equals 0, and G equals 0 0.25. If it's not getting what it expects, it's going to return back false, and you're probably not going to get your expected output. So that's it. It's a really simple, easy node. If you forget the formatting, just convert the color to a string and take that formatting. The formatting is though parenthesis b equals r e parenthesis and then r equals whatever, g equals whatever, b equals whatever. Another close parenthesis. Your alpha is optional. You have to have at least all three of them to be valid. Usefulness is this string is much smaller when you create it yourself than the default output. As you can see, it's much bigger. So if you're trying to, for example, make a save character slot or save game slot or do something to allow player to maybe copy paste some customization options that include colors, you can make your own string or they can edit their own string using just again R, G, and B values and customize their character as an example. And that's it. That is our string to color node.